I'm back. It was a busy week, so I didn't get anything done. Um, got it set up. I did a screw up. I built the firewall, but didn't build the little thing inside the firewall, so I've got another piece that I'll have to put on separate along with the instrument panel. I'll mount that on the front. So remember when you're doing the firewall to come all the way up and around. I like doing it like this because I cut that firewall exactly square. The uh, front end was moved this way a bit. So when I put the firewall first on, and I know that's perfectly squared, I've measured diagonals and everything, I was about an eighth out this way. On both sides were kind of just tilted this way. So I put a brace in there and got the diagonal perfect, mounted the firewall on there so it's exactly square. All right. I've got the laser level set up on the middle stripe there on the middle there I've also got a string line going all the way down to the vertical tail on the middle there and right up the vertical fin I don't know if you can see that there Got the string line on the back there, on the front there, and you probably can't see this either, but I can see the laser reflecting off the string line as it's going along there in certain spots. So I know it is dead center. Um, I don't know if I got this yesterday, but I cut that to the profile I want. Oops. This is going to go in like that. I'll uh, carve that out so that fits in. I'll mount it on here as well, underneath there. So. I've got a nice straight line there, and that's kind of the profile I'm going to go with. And then I'll get these round ones to fit. And there as well. So that's kind of what I'm going to go for with a profile on the turtle deck, that back part of that fuselage. So that's what I've been playing with, just the idea how to do this. And I think that profile is going to work nicely. I think it looks better, personally. So I'll get that going. Um, in the plans, it calls for half inch by half inch and only three stringers coming all the way down. I'm going to do half inch by half inch on this main one and possibly a couple side ones, but then I'm going to go smaller to get the curve. Basically what you're doing, you're taking a round peg and you're putting it in a square hole. So from this a bulkhead or whatever you want to call it, to here, you're going to have a curve, and then it'll, it won't straighten out, but it'll be straight all the way to the back from there. That's a consistent curve all the way down. With the uh, youngster that Algie's doing, I went back and looked at his, and it was nice because they were all the same size going all the way down. I've got to go from fairly large square down to a small circle. So we're going to have some bends. So it'll all be fairly consistent coming up to here. 
And then from here, you're going to have to change the angle to match that square thing like that. So that'll be interesting. Kind of, and that's why I'm going to use a smaller stringer that will bend with that and form that area there. And it's all fabric covered anyway, so you'll drape the fabric over top and iron it down so it sucks in there. One thing that I'm not sure of, I'll get this in here, and I gotta take a closer look at some of the others, is this part of the wing that sticks out here. It's not gonna attach to anything, it's just a floppy piece. So, I'm going to try and hold this. From the rear spar on, I think we just cut that off. The wing will be out here, but the fuselage will come down there. So it will look like this, but this will actually be where the flap is. So the wing and flap will be sitting here. This won't be here. The last solid mount will be right here where the rear spar is. Cut this off because the fuselage from here is going to blend down onto the, the turtle deck. From here it's going to blend down. And even on the regular Dakota Hawk, I'm not sure how you would have got from this wing tip out here over to there because a straight line from here is what they wanted you to do down to the tail so it would have gone straight that way anyways which is at an angle like this and it wouldn't have contacted that piece of plywood that's out here so I don't know why they have that anyways and it does show that on the plans that there's the front of that wing tip that comes all the way along and it shows that profile coming all the way down. Maybe you bend this skin in with these longerons so that the skin actually would not be straight, it would bend in with the longerons like that. Not longerons or stringers or whatever you want to call it. So that flap that sticks out here, get at the right angle, so that would come straight out here, you would actually bend it down if you're building with the flat, straight um, turtle deck. Since I'm going with the rounded turtle deck, I'm getting rid of this and I'll just have a bend going round and smooth all the way down there. All right, that's it for today. I'll get that tail post bonded on there, nice and straight. I'm going to start doing the laminate for the control panel to build up that little mounting ledge, I guess you call it. I'm also going to do that for the front of the firewall where I buggered up and cut that instead of leaving it on there. And I'll just put some bracing up to support that part of the top front turtle deck, I guess you would call that, the firewall coming up. And then that will be over the gas tank. We're making our way. Just preparing the fin post here to put in a place now back. When I was building this, the plans don't tell you how long to build that front or the main fin post. And I made mine long. I chopped off about a foot there and at least a foot here, I think. So to give my measurements, I'm at for the rear fin post, just over three feet. 
So if you used 39, 40 inches, that would give you plenty of room to play with. And with that front one, if you used, I'm at 34, so if you used three feet for that front one, you'd have lots of room to play with there as well. Now, I should go back and actually insert that into the old video. Maybe someday when I'm done all this, I'll do that. Hopefully you watch the whole video, and maybe I'll hashtag that with fin post size. So that if you're building from scratch, watch all these videos, now you know how big of a piece of wood to use instead of having one. Mine was way out here. And that front fin post really had me thinking because I cut off about two feet off that front fin post. So you don't have to make them hugely long, but it's always good to have more than less. Come on, that's starting to look like an airplane. Hey, hey. Just looking at the plans for the uh, horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, the tail. Oh, you've got your top longer on here. You've got your bottom longer on here. This is my little um, turtle deck coming down. Here's where the fin, front fin post comes in. I've got some blocking there and I've got that going on right there. Um, imagine these are the outside coming down to the corner post. That will come down from the outside, go here, and then come to the, the post, the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the fin post. So the horizontal stabilizer and elevator, I imagine, are going to sit on this. Here's your top lounge run. Here's a block they have in here or uh, another uh, support. And I'm assuming the elevator is going to sit on this support. Now, can someone tell me who has the blueprints? Because this support, you can see, is raised off the top lingerie. Shim underfitting. Well, it doesn't show how much this is raised. It's right together here and then comes up. And I can't find anywhere where it shows how much this is raised off the top laundron. And I'm assuming it's that to get a little downforce on the horizontal stabilizer. If you're flying a level, that top laundron is flat. This is sticking the horizontal stabilizer at a bit of an angle which would want to lift the front of the plane. But what angle is that? Shim underfitting, it has absolutely no documentation about how much you put this at an angle. Now, considering these are blueprints, shouldn't there be some sort of documentation saying how much we shim? under the fitting? What is the size of this right here? How high do we get that? All right, someone let me know that because right now I'm looking at that going, hmm, well eyeballed like we eyeballed the rest of the plane. Good blueprints.